Hello trackers. This is Kim here from Bear Trackers Animal Tracks Den and Bear Trackers Nature Films. Today I'm out here on the South Fork of the Eel River in Northern California. And what I found here is something that's not very common in this area. Um, these tracks belong to a mink. And if you don't know mink, mink is a member of the Mustelidae family, which is the weasel family members. So it's related to otters and of course weasels, uh, mink, stoats, ermine, uh, skunks. So these are your typical tracks that you'll find in that family of animals. They have five toes on both the front and the hind feet. You have a front track here and a hind track here. And the toes on a mink, their claws are very close to the toes. And so in the tracks, the toes look almost pointed. Um, that appearance is of course due to the claw marks being so close to them. They're really small, sharp claws. You can see one here and here. And this one is not as attached to the toe as this one because it didn't sink in as deeply as that did. But you notice that they have very sharp claws. So mink, um, they like rivers and they will hang out in riparian areas like this, but they also will go inland. So unlike the otter, which primarily spends its time in the water hunting fish and things, mink can actually go further away from the water and, and do their hunting. So you'll find them near water often, but if you find these inland, you can still consider mink in your identification. So let's uh, go over front from hind on these tracks. So you see five toes in these tracks and the inner toe, and I'm just gonna tell you this is a right hind track. And the way we tell that is by numbering the toes from the inner towards the outer. Inner being closer to the middle of the animal and outer being closer to the outside. So this is toe one, two, three, four, and five. On the front foot, you'll also see this additional carpal pad right behind this metacarpal pad here. You'll see that sometimes, not always, but sometimes you'll see that in the track. Um, this one does not show it. So uh, that's one way to tell that you've got a front track. The other way is to look at the orientation of the toes. So on the front track, each one of these toes seems to be pointing in a different direction. If you look at this hind track over here, you can see that the two middle toes, toes three and four, tend to be pointing in the same direction, almost like you would find with a canine track. Um, if you were to hide toe number one, in fact, from view, that would look very canine. Um, so that's another way to tell. Those toes point more forward um, than these on the front. That's also due to splay, but that's a tendency you can look for. The other thing is to look at the location of toe number one. So this is a right hind track, and this is a right front. Toe number one is set further back in the hind track than it is on this front track. So this distance here is slightly more than this distance here. It also looks a little bit narrower and maybe a little bit smaller than this front track. Um, on a lot of species, um, you'll find that the front track is bigger than the hind. So that's how you tell front and hind. Here is how you tell right from left. You look at toe number one. Toe number one will usually be the one that is further back in the track. So if you draw an imaginary line here, that toe falls outside of that range. It falls further back in the track than does toe number five, which is up here. So toe five and toe one are at sort of an angle. So that tells you that this is toe one. You look for the smallest toe, it's the inner one, and that'll tell you that's the right foot. And the same thing here with this hind track. Now this one, if you compare that to this, those two look fairly similar, and that's because they're both right front tracks. So look for toe number one, smallest toe furthest back in the track, and then go two, three, four, and five. And you also see that additional carpal pad there. It's larger, the toes are splayed out, pointing all in different directions. Now over here, we have a hind track on top of another track. I can't tell if this is a front or hind, I think this is a front, but there's a hind track on top of it. See this front hind track here, and you see toe number one way back here, two, three, four, and five. And they're pointing all relatively forward. If you cover up toe number one, that looks fairly canine. If you do it on the front track, it's, it's similar, but it's a little bit 
more spread out. The toes are more splayed. So these are mink tracks. And uh, if you find these out on the river bar, uh, look at the size. They're definitely a lot smaller than otter tracks. You know, if you measured all the way to this carpal pad, you'd only have less than inch and three quarters there if you include the claws. So it's really small compared to your otters. They look similar to otters and they might be mistaken for something like a baby otter or a large weasel, um, but mink are larger and habitat will also help you as a clue. But, uh, you know, look at the measurements in some of the tracking books, that'll help you. And uh, size-wise, that'll definitely rule out otters here because otters are, you know, two to three times the size of this track here. So you can definitely say this is not an otter. Although it is related to otters, it's in the same family. So uh, mink don't have as obvious a webbing, but you can see some webbing here. You can see some indication here that there's webbing between the toes. So it's not as obvious as sometimes it is in otter tracks, but if you look closely, you might be able to see it. So there you have a set of mink tracks. And uh, this is several animals. I think this is three animals coming through here. There's a set down here that's out of view of the camera, and then there's the two here. So um, I think we had two, two to three minks coming through here. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that introduction to the tracks of the mink and uh, Mustela Vison, I think. And I hope you enjoyed that, and we'll see you outdoors, and, and hope you get some tracking experience on your own, and hope this video was helpful to you.